this is buying a litter box, a choosing a litter box, and uh, getting your little ones the best litter box possible. So yeah, this package just came in the mail. Cats are long overdue for a new litter box because theirs broke. So I ordered this off of Mod Cat, and they have really cute litter boxes. It's very modern, very minimal looking, very chic and white. And even their packaging for the boxes came so cute. This is their little slogan thing. So I got them the Mod Cat XL. So for every litter box, they had like a weight and size recommendation for which you should get. After looking through the large and the medium um, litter boxes, Banksy is close to 20 pounds and he is a big cat. So it was recommended I should get a Mod Cat XL litter box versus just like a regular one. So yeah, I wasn't anticipating it to be this big. Is. It was just as big as the box it came in. Um, so let me pull everything out. So this is what it looks like. It's just a very clean, modern litter box. And for the Mod Cut XL, it is top entry and side entry, so you have two options. Um, I have a smaller package in here. So for their packaging, they were very thoughtful and apparently you can also use this box after you're done using it as a cat toy as well. It has little like imprinted round things you can take out and have the cats play with. So yeah, I really appreciate brands that put a lot of thought into their packaging and how to recycle things as well. So that's always good. And it comes with a scooper. This is their scooper. That's also nice. And this is the top lid. This is a top entry lid. Um, you just place this on here, and the cats can go in and out from the top. Um, to use the litter box. It comes with two linings. So one, they have the linings for front entry, which is using this door here, and they have a lining for the top entry. And I bought this litter box wanting to use the top entry one, hoping that it will reduce the amount of litter that's trapped all over the uh, apartment because right now they're literally less trapped a tiny little bit it's not as bad as the sand one but I'll also show you what kind of litter I bought for them and just how my thoughts on it and how it is so far so for top entry they have a door cover here that you just kind of stick on to this side much fun with the Mod Cat box that came in back there. It's so cute. And um, this is the Mod Cat C liner, which is for top entry. And I think I thought it was really useful that they have these liners because it makes cleaning the litter box so much more easy. Um, I know that for the litter box they have now, they have a hooded cat at litter box and I've only ever cleaned it once and it was kind of gross cleaning it for this. Every couple months or like however long it takes for the liner to like you know, get dirty, you can take the liner out and just toss it, or recycle it, and then you just buy a new liner. Yeah, this is the liner. Um, it goes in just like this. Yeah, so on the interior of the um, litter box, there are these little hooks, and there are circular rings on the liner that you can pop them into. On this side. So I got this litter box, um, I think it was on sale for like 10 or 15% off and it came out to be $125. I know it's a little pricey, but for someone who's super picky about their interior and like just like my furniture and design, I thought it was well worth it versus um, having like a really ugly litter box that to like display out um, in the open for other people to see, you know, as well. Especially having cats, um, the litter box doesn't fit into my bathroom, so I have to have it out in the open. Um, and it's just less annoying if the litter box is at least um, aesthetically appealing. Just getting these hooks on. There we go. Excuse me, Banks. Cool. 
cool. See, it fits in perfectly. Awesome. And yeah, so they give you extra parts for uh, front entry too, if you ever decide to do that. But yeah, now I'm showing you guys what I use for their litter. Um, so I used to use Kool-Aid litter, but then that used to track around the house a whole lot. So now I use this cat litter. It is recycled wood. It has a green tea in it. It's called Green Tea Fresh. And I also like this litter because it's also like biodegradable. You can flush this down the toilet and it will just, you know, disperse and it's not clay where when it clumps you have to put it in a plastic baggie and then you have to throw the baggie out. That creates a whole lot of waste versus this one. It's definitely on the pricier side. I believe it is like $22 for this bag. It is I think 11 pounds or 12 pounds. And this one bag lasts them an entire month for two cats. And yeah, I just really like it because it's flushable. I just carry the litter box to the bathroom and flush it. And it, uh, it's made of like recycled wood and green tea. And it's really good at offsetting the smell too. So this is what it looks like with the litter inside. And the scoop and everything. And this is just another view of like litter that I use. You can buy this at Mud Bay or all the best pet stores around the US. And this is also the top entry litter um, lid. So I believe, I'm not really good at reading directions, so I'm just gonna wait. So you slip it in. There we go. And then now you can close this. Yeah. So yeah, it just looks super modern. And also has these little holes on here, so when your cat does have litter in his paws, it jumps up onto this lid, and then the lid catches all the litter and if you do also have a mat here i'll show them i'll show you guys their old litter box belly's in it right now this is a cat litter box it just has like you know front entry covered litter box with handle on it but the handle did break and also have this cat litter mat as well um but yeah as you can see there's a lot of litter on the mat so this litter box does not do a good job at getting litter back into the box versus the mod cat box where it has little holes that traps litter and you know you can reuse the litter after it falls back in which is super thoughtful so yeah let's let's put this to use i know belly let's use it to litter box Please do like this video or just hit the subscribe button down below. Um, maybe I'll make a cat series. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye guys.